Hey guys, it's Destry. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are at the garden center, one of my favorite places to go plant shopping. We're going to look for some bare root roses and see what else they have in early February here at the garden center. So let's get going. So right when you walked in, they had some beautiful hyacinth bulbs, which were ready to pop and some other little kind of mini daffodils that were already blooming. Such pretty spring color at the garden center today. They also had a wide selection of hellebores that were in full bloom. I absolutely love hellebores. I have four of them planted in my shade garden now and I almost picked up another one, but I did resist um, just because they have kind of a shorter bloom season this time of year. They have an area indoors where they have sort of some gift items and it was set up for some Valentine's Day gifting. They had some really cute things in this area that my daughter and I checked out. Look at these vases. So you could fill these with cut flowers. They had through the looking glass and um, they looked like little books, the secret garden. Weren't these cool? I thought they were really unique. They also had some locally made candles that smelled amazing. This area of the gift shop was set up with different mushrooms and fairy garden decor. Lots of really cute things for spring here. I found the bare root roses. They had a huge selection of bare root roses, which were actually potted up, all different kinds. So here's just a few in this area. I ended up getting two today and it was so hard to decide which varieties to get. The names of some of these roses were fun. That one was Love. They had this one, Ketchup and Mustard, which was kind of a green, uh, orangey, yellow and red. This one was Hope for Humanity, Hot Cocoa. It was really fun to see the different names of the roses. When I got to the end of these long rows, I couldn't believe what I saw. These are David Austin roses, and they didn't just have a few, they had a huge selection. I love how they come in these really beautiful pots. I didn't get any of these today. The price point was a little higher than the rest of the roses, but it was really cool to see so many varieties of David Austin roses, and I think I would like to add one to my collection at some point.
In this area, they had some rose bushes that were pruned to be a standard or a rose tree. I was really tempted by these. They were $100 and I just couldn't do it today, but wouldn't it be beautiful to have one of these in your garden? Back inside, we found the free flowers for kids. They do have a program here on the first Saturday of every month. They have usually a craft or some sort of plant education for children, which I just love about this nursery. They had lots of spring color in this greenhouse, lots of primroses and pansies and things that are good for cool weather and early spring color. Here they had some beautiful cyclamen and some tulips that they had forced um, a little bit early. These would look beautiful in a little planter. I would have these indoors right now in our area. And again, these were in a protected greenhouse, but lots of really beautiful things here in the greenhouse today. And on my way out, I had to check out these camellia plants. Look at the blooms on these. They were absolutely beautiful. Guys, we are leaving Johnson Brothers. This is what I ended up getting, a cherry parfait. I loved the color my daughter and I fell in love. And then this one is for, it says for cutting and it's like a lavender color. So super excited to try these bare root roses. Get them in the ground this weekend. Open it up. I also need to trim my existing roses and fertilize them. So anyway. Let's get going. It's a good day at the garden center. So much spring color. It's exciting to see all the spring color coming up. Let me go get these in the car. Thanks for coming to the garden center with me today. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.